Hello everyone, this is Paulina, co-host of Afro-Anime Initiative. Sorry if I sound a little tired. I've been sick, which is why we haven't had any videos last week. Sorry. Um, but I'm back. I'm mostly better. Mostly better. But I still kind of look gross, so apologies for that. So today, or whatever day it is for you guys... I shall be reviewing episode 8 of Carol and Tuesday, and this episode is called All the Young Dudes, right? Yeah, All the Young Dudes by David Bowie. That I'm not as familiar with. I don't I don't listen to a lot of David Bowie. Never really did, except for a few of his singles. I also know about his collaboration with Mick Jagger, but that's that's it. Um, other than that, yeah, so that's, that's the title of the episode. We kind of start off with Angela in the car well in a taxi with her mom on the way to mars brightest and she has a new manager but with the way how angela treats her managers it's like they're her assistants instead and it's like no you spoiled brat i mean i like angela but mm, i just i don't care what character it is i just hate that kind of attitude that but that's just me um, yeah, so we start with the episode with that, but then we kind of go to, you know, both our main stars of the show, of the, you know, the title characters. Carolyn Tuesday reaching the studio, you know, they're about to be interviewed, like, oh, how do you feel? And then, um, Peter? Yeah, Peter? I, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing it correctly but anywho yeah the the social media sensation shows up and you know he's as annoying as ever you know he wants to be a singer and all but you know he does all this attention seeking for for validation which you know a lot of people do of course but for me it's like go to the corner go away stay away from me anywho he makes he makes for interesting comic relief for me like he's he's just funny to laugh at i don't take him seriously um then next we meet sybil 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 who is essentially a tuesday enthusiast her biggest fan her stalker essentially like she's that big of a fan like she doesn't like you don't see like she doesn't stalk like beforehand but she's terribly creepy the first one to comment on their instagram you know and she's like oh my god i'm such a huge fan of tuesday and you um you know she doesn't really address carol she's like oh you must be car and carol's like that's not my name you weird lady who are you you know and uh, sybil joined the competition because she heard that tuesday was joining so she's like i want to be able to meet my biggest um inspiration and perform with her someday and i'm just like trouble a lot of trouble and from what i've what i've gathered i'm right but i'll get into that later in the later episodes um so we meet her she kind of, you know, pushes her way into Tuesday's space. And Tuesday, of course, is just, you know, she's just really sheltered. So she doesn't know how to handle different situations um, versus her mom, who's a politician. So I bet her mom is like on it, like knows how to handle that stuff. But Tuesday, poor thing, is just, she's just so, she feels so awkward. And Sybil's like, yeah, let's exchange phone numbers. And Tuesday's like, um, okay, sure. And I'm just like, honey, no. No, I wish Tuesday, uh, not Tuesday, um, I wish Carol was more forceful, like, no, leave, go away, go away, just go, leave us alone, but, you know, they're kids, with these type of situations, they don't really know how to handle that, so, hopefully they learn from it, because, ooh, that's a recipe for disaster, honestly, so the next, um, thing that we kind of move into is the introduction of the uh, of the contestants on the live show and um angela angela's there but she like i said but she doesn't perform that day we only have you know both carol and tuesday they perform 
uh, along with this rapper named like OG Bulldog. I'll talk about him in a little bit. Um, and then there's like the Fire Brother twins who are like 99 years old, can barely hear anything, and they're a screamo band. Like, <laughs> they're a screamo rock band, and it's hilarious. Um, and then you have Peter, who's performing. P Peter, sorry. Anyways. So those, the brothers are the first to perform, and of course, their performance is like, what the heck? Like me, it's like, I, I, I wish I can enjoy this. I, I don't mind Screamo. I don't mind death metal. I love death metal. Um, but it's just looking at their performance, like these old men, you know, you have like fire coming out, like, uh, what is it? Pyro techniques or something oh gosh i haven't heard that word in a long time but like yeah um like fire effects coming out of their guitars one of them burns their hands they one of them like cracks their breath their back they're like it's it's a it's a huge mess and but the judges are like i i think we like it it's interesting and kind of fresh yeah, but, uh, are you okay? <laughs> and honestly, that's like, that's my, that's my thing. Also, um, we were also introduced to the judges. I unfortunately did not pay attention to their names. Except for one, there's like Catherine, and then there's like one like super, super nice judge. I'm guessing like, it's like, uh, kind of like, you know, American Idol judges. You have the Simon Cowell who is Catherine, kind of harsh. And then you have, like, the, the Paula Abdul. Yes, Paula Abdul. The, the OG American Idol. Um, yeah, the Paula Abdul type. And he's, like, super nice and, like, oh, I loved it, I felt it in my heart type person. And then you have, like, the third judge, who is a special guest judge. And interestingly, he has this little AI dog that speaks for him. And I ju I'm just realizing this now, like it kind of, like I said, like the OG um, American Idol judges, you have like Randy Jackson, who's always saying dog. So I'm just like, oh, snap. Okay. Okay. Let me, let me shut up. Um, so we're introduced to those three. They give their, their piece. And then um, after the, the twins perform, you have Pitor, our lovely social media influencer performing and he's not a bad singer he has a, he's a lovely voice um he dances with his his piece so it's like a it's more of a pop piece and it's nice i liked it he's still highly annoying i still don't like him at all like i, I just don't like people like that i just don't mm. even even Catherine's like okay i guess i underestimated you know your ability on being a singer you're really serious about this although you're you're, you're kind of annoying. <laughs> so I'm like, same. <laughs> um, so he gets good marks, which is nice. And so the next contestant after is, who is it? Is OG Bulldog. Now this dude is like this big, tall, white dude, like this eight mile wannabe um Eminem rapping wannabe what like white dude and like he comes in he's like yeah I'm here to kill everybody you know just just look at all of you and you guys don't deserve to live blah 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 and everybody's like oh my god and I'm just like oh man I can just smell the fake from all the way over here this is just like if this was live on Mars, I would, just, and here I'm on Earth, it's like, I could just feel the fake melting my face off, because wow, and his performance is an interesting fusion of rap and opera, like, the music is rap, but he sings opera, random Latin words, because I heard Santo Espiritu, so I'm like, is he performing an exorcism? So, <laughs> like, he's not... <laughs> He's not actually rapping anything. He's just saying a bunch of random Latin words. 
And it's not, it's not, it's kind of chaotic. So it's kind of hard for me to follow. Like, is, is there, am I supposed to bob my head to this? But some parts are like pretty solid. But other than that, it's like, I, I don't know what to make of this. It's interesting though. I like it. I like it. Um, rap and opera fusion. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, and you know, Catherine's like, yeah, actually this is, this is pretty, pretty interesting. And the judges like it. Okay, cool. Whatever. So up against him is our lovely girls, Carol and Tuesday, and they do an original piece, just their, their piano and guitar. And when they're introduced, they kind of show, they show that viral video of them doing a gorilla performance at that concert hall. And the judges are like, oh, it's you two. Okay. Impress us, you know? And so, yeah, they do their, they do an original song called, I believe, Whispering My Love. And while they're singing, you know, they got the audience's attention. Um, even, you know, it kind of cuts to Tao, Angela's producer, I believe. And he's like doing his thing and he, you know, kind of, they, their voices, their performance grabs his attention. And I'm just like, hmm, why does it grab his attention of all people? Interesting. I'm, I'm interested to learn more about that. So yeah, they, their, their, their song is absolutely wonderful. Um, one of the judges, of course, is like, oh my gosh, these precious angels. Um, Catherine, of course, <laughs> she kind of gives like a bit of a harsh review. Like, okay, so um, we, she, re she gives her, her, her opinion on them when, you know, they're doing, um, what is it? The semi, look, the, the elimination round, sorry, the elimination round. Um, Peter goes on to the next round and um, Carol and Tuesday win. Um, I want to say that, yeah, their performance was really good. OG Bulldogs was, was okay, but he was disqualified because he lied about himself. Apparently he is a big, I don't want to say a wimp, but he's never shot anybody. He's never, you know, I think the, one of the things was he was shot 12 times <laughs> kind of like 50 cent and still has the bullets in his body or something in his body and how they found out is that they brought his grandmother on and he's and she's like no he's like the sweetest guy and he's never sold any drugs he works at a drugstore <laughs> and the horrified look on his face he's like no grandma no <laughs> it's great it's great it's great so it's like it's highly embarrassing for the guy and i'm just sitting here like this is what you get you fake knew it i knew it i knew it um, and both Carol and Tuesday get their, um, what is it? Their review. And basically, you know, they were told like, yeah, they're kind of bland out of everybody that they've seen so far. They were the most least outstanding. Like they were the, yeah, the most least outstanding and kind of bland, but their approach to music is essentially fresh because, you know, to to one of the judges or to the judges period, they haven't heard AI, like non AI music in a long time. You know, hearing music that's original, like actual human voices, actual lyrics written by human beings and actual instruments being played by actual human beings. Like that's a fresh thing or it's kind of like a thing being brought back which is nice which is really nice so you know they they win this this round and they move on to the next and while they're backstage talking to Gus and um Roddy Angela approaches them and she's like I don't like your music I don't like your style. You guys are terrible. You guys sound terrible. You guys are just a bunch of uh, country hicks and I hate you. And she just marches off. And I'm just like. What? Where the heck did this come from? What? Why do you care? Apparently she felt threatened. 
I mean, Gus, that's what Gus said. He, he was like, oh, I guess she sees you as her rival now. And I'm just like, she's just being a brat. Listen, <laughs> she probably did not have a great upbringing. Nobody, nobody taught her to curb that behavior. There she is. So I don't know, but it makes a great dynamic. Um, it makes a very interesting, like, okay, what are we going to see next? What is Angela going to bring to the table? You know, I know in the next episode she performs and we got a few more interesting characters. I'm, I'm, I've noticed. And, um, I'm looking forward to the next review. Thank you so much for tuning in for, you know, sitting here and watching my face contort to different parts of this episode. And, uh, let me know what you think. If you saw the episode, if not, please watch it and just join us and talk to me or the, just me about this episode or the show in general. I enjoy, I'm enjoying it. I'm really loving it. And um, once again, thank you for joining me. I'm Paulina of the Afro, Af Afro Anime Initiative. Please don't forget to join us on our Twitter, which is Afro underscore AI. A bit quiet there, so please interact with us there um facebook afro anime initiative same thing on instagram and just you know hit us up thank you so much bye